know how we're doing uh, how we're doing today it's monday morning top of the morning what's the day the third hope everybody had a good weekend and thank you for your time you know we must be really at the end times or whatever okay that we are definitely losing our moral compass and i believe that it's not really the government but it's the people in this government is making people think that things are okay and it's really not okay. <clears throat> but then it's it's at the same time, I do believe that this provision here is a stereotype. And I do think it is very unfair. Okay? I mean, this, there's got to be some a time where you want to be able to put two and two together and have some common sense about uh, about things. Now, let's get right into it. California Governor Gavin Newsom, and this has been trending for the last, I don't know, maybe day or, or two, but signed a, a law saying that rap songs cannot be used against a rapper if he talks about uh, a murder. <clears throat> well, that all depends. Okay. I hope that he knows that you could add to, but you can't take away. All right. They got constitutional laws. Okay. And or amendments in the freedom of speech. Okay. That says if it's, it's a threat or it's a detriment. Okay. Uh, that what you say, things could be interrupted. All right. Or they are, uh, or the, um, the words that you say could be used against you. Hell, there's even a, a scripture in Matthew 10 to 12. 10, 12. 10 chapter uh, 12 verse. What you say can be used against you during the day of judgment. All right? That applies in the current law as well. Okay? On every different facet. Federal, state, and local laws. Now, that being said, if a rapper does rap about a murder, okay, generally speaking, as long as not any names involved or any places and that type of thing or when it happened, no, it's not a thing that it could be questionable, but it could be questioned, but it's not, it's not anything that could be, that's going to cause that person to be arrested. All right. But if they flat out, and a lot of rappers, they have a bad reputation of telling on themselves when they rap about murders, okay, or rap about, okay, somebody being murdered in another set, okay, then you know what? It's going to raise speculation naturally, okay? And now they have people in place that understand, you know, this, these different codes and all the, uh, these different um, phrases and all that about people, you know, being killed in these rap songs. You see what's happening in Georgia with the YSL and YSN group, all right? I believe that the the provision in California limits that, but I do think at the same time, this is a stereotype because I understand that they got grunge mu music. They have different types of music in Spanish language, like Tex-Mex, all right? I've seen it like on... Um, what was that show? Uh, Gangland. Okay. That these, these type of music, rock and roll music. Okay. That they have hate speech and also uh, different types of uh, murders and stuff like that. Drugs. All right. That could cause you to be brought in. All right. At least to be questioned. And if they find any evidence, your ass is getting locked up. I don't know what makes Gavin Newsom think with these laws about, um, let's say, for example, stores could get robbed and they couldn't really make an, uh, make an arrest, okay, or the people from stores couldn't do, do anything or people, people could get ran up on and nothing's going to happen. I don't know what makes him think or makes it's going to spill over into the citizens of California, making people think this is okay. You're not going to be able to make rap songs with flat-out evidence. 
okay, about a murder or somebody you know is somebody that murders uh, somebody and get away with it, okay? I do think that it limits it, but it's not going to, that sh is not going to fly. And they'll find a way, all right? They they'll find a way. It's one of the things that will be questioned, and I think that with uh, rappers or people that love to talk, okay, with all this different surveillance, they're going to find a way to find out, all right, if word gets in the ear of the wrong, of wrong person in the FBI, it could be uh, state investigations, somebody's going to find a way to find something out, okay, because what they could do is they could question people, all right, they could question people, all right, in a realm, let's just say if a rapper is in a certain, uh, I don't know, click, somebody's going to say something. All right. If somebody gets brought in, you know what they'll do? They'll start telling on each other just to get the heat off them. All right. I think that this is a stereotype. OK, because all the different uh, genres all right, that they may have something to say pertaining to this matter. I think it's about uh, the black vote in California. OK, because the, uh, the Democrats right now are in hot water. OK, that their reputation is on the line, uh, particularly like in the Senate and the representative. Uh, uh, and again, that that if they don't get a certain amount of black votes, then they're going to lose a Democratic election. Uh, particularly like in California, I think we, we know it's going to happen in 2022 with the Senate and Democrat. Uh, all right. But I do believe that it's all about uh, preserving that seat in the California, uh, you know, a California state government. And that's what it's really all about, uh, about or whatever. But other than that, they don't give a damn about these rappers, okay? Particularly, like, in, in California. So, with all the stuff that's going on, okay? But, you know, you never know if the police is involved in, in this anyway, all right? So the rappers or whatever, okay, or they know people like in these different gangs or knock people off, so it'll be less that they have to do. When I say they, that's the police. But that concludes this podcast here. Thank you for your time. Let me know what you think about this video, all right? And quite frankly, I just think that Gavin Newsom or whatever, I think that he's a smart man, but he doesn't have a lot of common sense, quite frankly, and I'm glad now I live in Nevada, okay? And I can tell you right now, he wants to run for president in 2024. Let me let you know something. After all this stuff that happens in California with all the all them closings, and we've been closed for like 18 months, you do not want that, that, that dude to be president. I'll let you know that right now. All right, peace.